Hey guys, what's up? I am Pronoops from State 25. Today in this new video, we will be talking about migration. If you want to come to State 25, you are most welcome here. We have a good combination of everything. Yeah, they are high in stats, boots and all. Even in Duel of Queen Glory, sometimes we get rankings. You can see currently he is ranking 15 boots. And in the duel of special ant, we are ranking second currently and even you can see the rank 7 is also from our state. So if you want to join, this is a best choice. And moreover, we have a lot of space in our alliance too. Uh, you can see currently it's 100 by 100 filled but yeah, we have some offline members and even we have some farms which can be kicked out. So yeah, don't forget to join us in this migration. So now let us go and check out the rules of the migration. So we have got two uh, two messages so first of all let us check this message so basically if i tell you in a simple word then guys this june migration event is the last migration before the next two months you can say more than two months because after that a new season event is going to start and that season event will have 21 days of registration warm up and that state election period moreover after that 45 days will be a fight between eight different alliances and after that last day will be settlement period and only after that the migration can come so that comprises of more than 70 days and you know that in two months also in the 60 days happens so you can say that two and a half month you have to wait for the next migration if you miss this one so yeah let us check it out the new gameplay lost island will be updated on to game in april so it is going to become in the april month after the gameplay start the subsequent migration will be extended so basically they are saying that the next migration which will come will be extended that is the schedule time will be more now that is why they have launched the migration before this time and you can also see here is the latest news so basically this migration is going to help from 29th of march to 30th march from 1 to uh, that is system time scope of this event is server 2 to server 500 and the grouping are same as usual every ruler has one chance to jump over to another zone during the event and can only migrate to the zone within the group so you, if you are from s2 to s150 then you can only migrate within this zone you cannot migrate to s51 so be careful about this thing migration token can be obtained or purchase specific packs so you can buy the packs for migration tokens or you can buy from alliance store too so this is the only thing in the first mail let us check out the second mail in the second mail they are showing that because this gameplay is launched for the first time the migration event will cancel the restriction on cd of migration so yeah even if you have migrated in the last event you can still migrate in this event that is uh, i think that in the early march there was migration and yeah if you have migrated in march early march then also you can migrate in the end of march migration uh, for only for this time in future it will not be held However, the subsequent zone migration will still be limited by CD. You can see the next migration will still have the CD time. So this is the only thing guys which you can see here. Uh, if you want more to know more, you can see power, settings, instruction, then migration. So let us check it out. Uh, power, setting, in, uh, instruction, where he is, uh, instruction. And here you need to find out migration. And you can check out uh, how much uh, things are needed for migrating and all yeah to new homeland we are up here you can see if you have if you are level 15 to 17 hill then it requires one token it all depends on your hill level and there are some rules requirements and all available here so go and check it out right now thank guys for watching this video see you soon